Hi everybody, it's Jill Blanchett with Green Thumb Stampers. I'm here with another version of my Finally Friday video series. And this week, I have a guest presenter, my friend Patty. I went over to her house last week on Friday. And whenever I go over there, she's always challenging me with a new fold, a new technique, something new. So I always love getting together with her because she's just always thinking outside the box. Uh, she doesn't make most cards. She's never duplicated. She always does something different to change them up. So she was doing a single diamond fold card and she wanted the diamond on the side versus if you have if you look on uh, Pinterest, you'll probably see that they tend to be on the top and she wanted it on the side. So uh, we goofed around a little bit, got it figured out, and then I filmed her while she was doing the fold and such so that you could see how to do it. And at the end will be her creation. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay guys, today we're going to do a fun fold called a single fold diamond, singing single diamond fold, but Patty found one that she wants to make where the diamond fold is on the left of the card rather than the top. So we've been farting around and figuring out how to do it and we're going to film it so you can all have your own version of how to make this. So we're going to start with a piece of paper at eight and a quarter by five and a half. So you can get two cards out of one piece of cardstock. And these are probably typically a little bit smaller than ones you might see online, but it's going to fit in an envelope and you don't have to make a special envelope for it. Okay, then we're going to score it at... So she's got it all two cut. And quarter. On now the on the, the five and a half side, she's scoring at two. two and three quarters. Scoring, not cutting. Then you're gonna turn it once. Then she's gonna turn it to the eight and a half side. Eight and a quarter. Or eight and a quarter side and scoring at four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. And then five and a half. Then moving it down to five and a half and scoring again. And then between those two score lines, without moving it, you're going to want to score from the five and a half line up to the four and a quarter line. Let me see if I can move down in here so you can kind of get a good feel for what. See how she's scored from the five and a half line up to the center at the four and a quarter line. Then you want to turn it and you're going to do the same thing. Whoops, I'm in your way. Turn in the middle. And that guy there. Okay. And then that is all about your that's your card base. Now the fun begins. <laughs> fold all the... Go ahead and fold on all of the score lines. Burnish. Burnish them well with your fingernail if you don't have a bone folder handy. Must be Patty doesn't own a bone folder. Go in half. And then these you kind of got to hold up a little bit because you're only folding that little. Yep, you spot. only want to fold that the crease in the middle, middle there. Sorry. Okay, Switch see that? Middle. So you got two of those that you're gonna fold. Just want to be careful to. Okay. And then you did it like yep, that. You're gonna fold up onto the five and a half inch line, and then those two, is that, is that right? they're outies. I'm trying to get them to go outies. Oh, wait a minute. Like that. So, there. 
And then it folds. No, we've got those innies. Those are innies. Do what? Oh, you turned it around. Sorry. And then, it and then now you just kind of fold it up on itself. And there you go. How's that for a cute little card base? And when she gets a couple cards made, I will add them to the video. Okay, that was it. It's not hard. Give it a try. I think you'll really like it. They turned out really cute. And even though it looks like a little bit smaller card, it fits into an envelope. And that's the key, that you don't have to make a special envelope for it. And you can mass, you can get two um, two cards out of each piece of paper, so that's good too. So have fun with it, and feel free to post any cards that you make with it on my Facebook page, the Green Thumb Stampers Facebook page. We'd love to see whatever designs that you can come up with. So have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll be back again next Friday. Bye.